Ladies and gentlemen, the Call of Duty World War II reveal trailer has dropped this morning. There was a live stream. It ran about an hour long. They were talking about some of the information uh, about this Call of Duty World War II. And I'm seeing the trailer. You guys have obviously seen the trailer. If you haven't, I'm going to have it linked down below. The trailer was actually really good. I, I was really impressed with what I saw. I'm seeing it. It looks like, and, and they've even said it, it looks like they're going for a more gritty, more dark toned Call of Duty than what we've seen in previous games. Now, lately on Twitter, I've been talking a lot about Brothers in Arms and how that series should come back. And I'm seeing this trailer and I, I got a really huge Brothers in Arms vibe. It looks like they're really focusing on campaign and story, which I mean, you guys know Call of Duty, it's never really been about that. I don't know how good the story is going to be. I hope, honestly, I just, I hope that it's it's good. It looks good from the trailer clips that we saw. There's a lot of interaction between soldiers, and it looks like they're really going in to that dark and gritty underbelly of World War II. And I'm actually kind of happy about it, as long as the campaign is fleshed out and not three hours, three to four hours like like the, the ones previous. They have confirmed that there is going to be a separate cooperative campaign featuring an original story, which, I mean, I understand. I, I'm glad that they're giving us a co-op campaign. I really wish that games would just implement the main story being played as co-op and then just have the cutscenes play as normal as long as I get to play the main story with a friend I think that would be the best option, but they're opting to go for a separate campaign I feel like that's gonna be a little bit tacked on I don't know how they're gonna handle it It would be sweet if it was like two different soldiers Maybe in a different company that happens to interact with the main story company like, That would be super sweet like an alternate angle that would be something cool. Unfortunately, I don't know if they're going to do that. I, I really doubt it. They have confirmed Nazi zombies. I'm not a Nazi zombie kid. I, I, don't, I don't give a fuck about that. Uh, but it is going to be coming. Yay. In terms of multiplayer, it looks like they're, they're hinting at a new mode called War Mode. And it lets players take part in famous historic World War II battles with different objectives for each team. So I think it's going to be something similar to Operations that we saw in Battlefield 1, but it's just going to be Call of Duty spin on it. Uh, the biggest change that I'm seeing, obviously there's not a lot of details with multiplayer, but they're saying instead of character classes, you're going to have what they call divisions. Uh, they didn't say much about divisions, but apparently uh, it's going to include infantry and armored options. So they're taking a different route to classes. I'm wondering if we're still going to be able to create loadouts to go along with these divisions. Obviously, the big Call of Duty YouTubers are going to be dropping a lot of information here leading up to E3 to build that hype. Because apparently at E3 this year, you're going to be able to play this on the ground floor. I opted to drop out of E3. Uh, I just don't really have the funds to fly out to LA. Apparently, in between games, you're going to be hanging out in what they call headquarters it, it kind of sounds like a like a you guys know the tower in destiny it, it, okay uh, sure whatever i, I want to know about the game is there going to be a massive kill streaks is there going to be a whole bunch of different perks that change game? i want to know how arcade and how back to its roots these guys are actually going i don't give a shit about any of that i just want to know about the game mechanics unfortunately they didn't really drop a lot of information the game is coming out november 3rd for ps4 xbox and pc uh and we have a beta that's going to be taking place later in the year and i believe the ps4 gets the beta first because obviously playstation has the advertising rights with call of duty now not a lot of stuff was shown. Obviously, we, we need to know a lot more about the gameplay. We saw a little bit of the campaign. Um, what I think this needs to actually like be successful is, is to roll back every huge addition that you added to the multiplayer. Obviously, the multiplayer is where Call of Duty reigns supreme, right? But every year they always add so much crazy shit different kill streaks and different perks and it, it just it, it blew up to the point where 
it wasn't always about the gunplay. It was just like who could who could get a perk combination and who was running the meta. They need to draw all that back, and I've been saying that for years. It needs to be more focused on gunplay and skill. And the fact that the campaign is going a more dark, gritty, uh, maybe a more expansive story than we've seen in previous Call of Duty titles. I'm hoping that they 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 take the focus back on the multiplayer side of things and just just keep it gunplay dude keep it skill based that way when competitive rolls around and we're promoting esports it's actually about the skill and not always about the perk meta i made some jokes during the live stream talking about supply crates and and peer-to-peer -peer connections which is something that they still need to figure the fuck out and they need to get dedicated actual dedicated servers they can put dedicated servers on the back of the box all they want when i'm getting host migrations it doesn't fucking matter it's a terrible experience but this is Call of Duty's last chance. Okay, they, they fucked up with Infinite Warfare. Battlefield 1 took last year, and, and, and that's, that's a simple fact. Battlefield 1 destroyed Infinite Warfare last year in terms of quality, in terms of everything. Infinite Warfare was a piece of shit. This is coming out into a new wave of shooter mindset. There's a lot of World War II shooters that are dropping this year. We have Battalion, Days of War, Rising Storm, and now we have the, the the godfather of World War II shooters, Call of Duty, is going back. If they fuck this up, whether it be supply crates dropping weapons or connection issues or whatever the case is, if they fuck up this release, I really don't know how they're going to bring that Call of Duty franchise back. This is like, I'm looking at this as a restart. Even though they've only had a year, it is Sledgehammer. I think they've been working on this for three years, they said. This is it. And I cannot stress that enough. The players are going to forgive for Infinite Warfare. But if you go back to the space that you dominated in for so many years, and you fuck it up, it's over. Call of Duty their reputation will be tarnished and I, I know some people are out here saying that it's already tarnished i don't believe it i don't have faith that they're going to make this right i uh, personally i don't but i am not going to sit here and blast them for at least giving the fans what they've been asking for right yeah maybe it's a year too late maybe it's two years too late but at least they're here now and this is what we have on the plate in front of us do i think they're going to pull it off no that's just me but God damn it. That trailer looked real good. Um, but I, I just I think it's too far gone to recapture the glory that everyone's chasing. I mean, take that from a SOCOM fan, right? It is incredibly tough to bring back those feelings. But I'm curious to see what's going to happen. I want to play that beta. I don't want to pre-order the game. I, I really don't. If we can do like an Amazon pre-order get the beta and then cancel I'm gonna try something like that I'm not gonna lie to you uh, but I want I want to see what they have coming to the table I want to know what you guys think if you were watching this video you made it this far in the video use the keyword World War two in your comments we haven't done this for a little while I appreciate you guys watching the channel shout out to all the patreon supporters the twitch subs everyone just taking a a couple of minutes out of your day to watch the video I appreciate it. And let me know what you guys think about this. This is like the biggest shooter news that we've had in a, in a few months now. So let's talk about it down below. My name is Big Fry. As always, shout out to the Fry Nation. And I'll see you on the next one.